हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द फिजिकल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ वेस्ट वाटर दैट इज सीवेज नाउ व्हाट इज वेस्ट वाटर एनी वाटर दैट इज कंटामिनेटेड बाय ह्यूमन यूज ओके एनी वाटर दैट इज कंटामिनेटेड बाय ह्यूमन यूज इज नोन एज वेस्ट वॉटर ओके दैट इज कंटामिनेटेड बाय ह्यूमन यूज इज नोन एज वेस्ट वॉटर नो वी नीड टू फाइंड द वेरियस कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ वेस्ट वॉटर ओके फॉर विच वी विल स्टार्ट विद द फिजिकल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक एंड आफ्टर डेट वी विल सी द केमिकल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ सीवेज नो वेस्ट वॉटर इंजीनियरिंग इज जनरली क्लासिफाइड इन टू थ्री पार्ट फर्स्ट वन इज द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ वेस्ट वॉटर in which we are going to see the physical and chemical characteristic next one is the treatment of waste water before disposing it into the natural water bodies we need to treat that waste water okay now after treatment we need to dispose that sewage into the various water bodies so the next topic will be the disposal of sewage effluents okay now we will start the characteristic of waste water generally there will be two types of characteristic present in the waste water first one is the physical characteristic and next one will be the chemical characteristic now we will see one by one each and every characteristic in detail starting with the physical characteristic okay now physical characteristic is briefly classified into four parts that is turbidity color odor and temperature okay now we will start with the turbidity topic okay now generally we know that the waste water is turbid okay the waste which is coming from our houses or from any industry will be turbid enough so we just write here as waste water is normally turbid containing waste from baths facial matter pieces of paper greases etc and we don't need to write the limit of turbidity because we don't want this water for the drinking purpose that's why we had not write the value of turbidity here okay now next property is the color or the next characteristic will be the color now we know that the color of freshly uh, generated waste water is generally yellow or brown okay after some time when reaction takes place that is anaerobic reaction or the decomposition of organic matter takes place then the color of sewage becomes black or grayish okay now we just write here as the color of waste water can normally be detected by the naked eye and it refers to the age of waste water fresh waste water is usually light brown however an organic compounds are broken down by bacteria the dissolved oxygen in the waste water is reduced to zero and color changes to black now this condition that is the ch color change from brown to black this condition is known as septic stain now that is the most important portion of color characteristic that is the state at which the water will become completely black that state is known as septic stale now that is the most important question and every time gate had asked this question and all the other government exams also asked this type of question from the color characteristic okay now the next characteristic will be the odor now we know that the odor is already coming or odor is always coming out from the sewage water now which type of odor is coming out from the sewage water we need to understand so odor in waste water usually are caused by gases produced by the decomposition of organic matter from where the gases will be produced by the decomposition of organic matter by microorganism the gases will be produced and the most characteristic odor of stale or septic waste water is that of h2s it has a pungent smell okay which is produced by an aerobic microorganism that reduces sulfates to sulfide when an aerobic microorganism reduces organic matter from sulfates to sulfides then h2s will be coming out or liberated from that container and that odor is very pungent that's why the odor of waste water generally contains h2s okay now the next important characteristic of physical characteristic topic is the temperature now generally the average temperature of sewage in india is 20 degree celsius it means that we had calculated the average temperature of all the states okay now the average temperature of sewage in india is 20 degree celsius which is the 
very near or the most ideal temperature for the biological activity it means that if the temperature is 20 degree celsius then all the microorganism will do the decomposition of organic matter freely okay that is the ideal temperature for the biological activities that is all about the physical characteristic topic thank you very much students